Hi everyone, this is Cheryl and welcome to my sewing room. These are seasonal towels I bought at Walmart for 88 cents each. So I'm going to show you a really cute embellishment that I did well, that will take you about 10 minutes per towel and turn them into something special. You don't need a lot of supplies, so let's get started. First step is to measure the width of your towel going this way and then add two and a half inches. So for this towel, uh, it was 15 inches wide. I'm going to cut a, two strips that are 17 and a half inches long. The width, you're going to determine how much of the towel you want covered. I want some of this red checkerboard to show. So I've cut my strips three inches wide and you're going to need two for each end of the towel. You also have to decide are you going to uh, embellish both ends of the towel or just one. Take two strips and bring front sides together and then pin the two strips together on all four sides. On one side you're going to leave a small opening right about here in the center. Then you're going to stitch one quarter inch seam all the way around. So stitch all the way down to this corner. When you get to the corner, always leave your needle down and lift up the presser foot when you turn and continue stitching one quarter inch all the way around and then you're going to stop here. Make sure you stitch back and forth at the ending and starting place. After stitching, then you want to go and trim some of the excess fabric off of the corners. And I like to trim a little bit off on each side. And make sure you do this at all four corners. Then reach inside and turn this front side out. After turning it front side out, then Fold these edges in a quarter of an inch and press the length of this uh, strip. Then go ahead and pin this opening closed and then stitch the opening closed real close to the edge right along there. Take the strip and place it at the bottom of the towel and center it across there. You'll have about an inch of overhang on each end and I also pull it past this bottom edge just a little bit just to give it a little more length. Then go ahead and pin this down all the way across and then after you've pinned it down then you're going to stitch close to the edge right along here. Then after you've stitched it down, now you could stitch this all down at the same time, but the problem is, is you may not catch the edge of this. So in st to save yourself the headache of ripping things out, just stitch this down first. Now take your Rick Rack, and I like to cut my Rick Rack a little bit longer at each end. Then go ahead and stitch the Rick Rack down. Now you want the Rick Rack to overlap the uh, decorative band and the towel itself. And so you would stitch right down the center of that Rick Rack. Turn it over onto the back and take this end of the Rick Rack and fold it around the edge. Then fold the uh, border fabric over onto the back and then stitch it down right along here. And when you're done, it'll look like this. Well, here they are. They're all done. And I thought these turned out just so cute. They're great for that summertime backyard barbecue. You know, Mother's Day is coming up. So these are so easy to make her a nice little set of kitchen towels. It doesn't have to be the little owls. You can use this same pattern and create other towels using her favorite colors. Now if you're interested in other towel projects, this is an applique tulip flower with pom-poms on the end. Here's one with little prairie points on the end. They're really easy to make. 
Here's another one with an applique pattern and little scalloped edges. And then here's one that you can hang it over your dishwasher uh, handle drawer or your uh, kitchen drawer, oven handle, whatever it is you want to hang it on. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, would you please click on thumbs up? Also, click on share to share this video with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click on that red subscribe button down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Don't forget to enter your email address and click on that little bell icon so that you receive future email notifications about my latest video. I'm Cheryl and I'm so glad you came to my sewing room. I'll see you next time and don't forget, happy sewing!